Today we're doing a little workout that's going to help you get those oblique lines, the 11 line abs, those two lines that go down your stomach that are like super duper sexy. They're not full on abs that like scream, hey I work out every day and I'm like a fitness model. They're more like subtle, like, ah, you know I woke up like this, even though you know damn well we did not. back to my channel so today we're doing an awesome awesome ab workout that's gonna help you get those little oblique lines okay everyone's been asking me about this workout specifically so here it is you don't need any equipment today maybe just a pair of socks because we are gonna be doing some little exercises with socks today so go ahead and get that next to you and let's do it so to really emphasize those lines we're gonna focus on doing some oblique exercises so the obliques are the muscles on the sides of your waistline and your abs we're going to focus more on the lower obliques and um, some lower ab exercises. And remember, we're not using weight for any of these ab exercises because we don't want to widen the waist. We don't want to grow any muscle. We just want to bring out the definition. Actually, after a lot of these exercises, I noticed that right after doing them, like it's already more defined. Like The lines, it's kind of magical. So if you want to take a before and after picture, I can go right ahead. So let's start off with the first exercise, which is a hopping in and out plank. So this is one of my favorite exercises for um, the obliques and those little lines. You're gonna stay in a plank position like this on your elbows. You're gonna hop out and then back in. So that counts as one breath. Hop out, back in. So we're doing 30 in total. Keep going. We're 15. Oh, 10 more. And 30. Whew. Wow, I can feel the burn in my arms as well. So now we're going to go ahead and put on the socks and we're going to be doing the same exercise that we're going to be sliding. So I believe that this is actually harder than the hopping because with the hopping, you're using the momentum of your whole body, whereas when you slide, you're really kind of focusing the movement to your abs. Like it has to come from your abs to really work. Go ahead and put on those socks. If you live in a place that has carpet and you don't have like socks wouldn't work for you, you can actually get two paper or styrofoam or plastic plates or any kind of sliding discs and that should work. Get into plank position like this. So you're gonna slide out, come back in. So we're just gonna be doing 20 of this one. Go out, back in. That counts as one breath. Keep your core tight and your back straight. Don't like uh, arch your back or round it out like this. Try to stay in a complete straight line. Oh, I need a break. Okay, catch your breath. We got 10 more to go. All right, ready? Back down, out, back in. Almost there. And 20. Oh, come back down. All right, catch your breath, and then we're going to do the next exercise. Next up, we've got sliding mountain climbers. So we're also going to be doing 30 of this one, and I find for me it's more comfortable to do it on my hands so that my knees have like room. For a mountain climber, you're basically going to bring one knee up to your elbow and switch. So we're doing a sliding one. And when you do the sliding one, I feel like it really forces you to use your abs, and you got to keep your tailbone tucked in. So if you're doing it like this, arched, you're not using your abs at all. Like it's just putting a straight in your back, you're going to injure yourself, and you're not doing the exercise right. Keep your core tight, like really try to push your... Um, belly button into your spine and let's do it. So it's 30 in total. So it's one, two. So each one is a different rep. So keep going. That's 20. Let's go 10 more. Keep your tailbone tucked in. but killer, quick killer. <laughs> All right, for the next one, you can go ahead and bring out the mat. And we're gonna be doing, 
nice for crunches. This one, I feel like to really feel the burn, you do have to do quite a lot. So we are doing 50. Get on your back like this. It's going to be opposite elbow to opposite knee. You're going to come in like this and switch and switch. Make sure you really rotate your upper body. We're on 25. Catch your breath if you need it. Ready? Let's go. We're at 40, 10 more. And 50. Oh man, these abbeys are on. Fire. We've got two more exercises to go. Now we got V up crunches. Ooh, these are hard. Okay. So for these, you're gonna lay down flat. Oh, so we're gonna, I'm already dreading this exercise. We're gonna go up into a V, back down. All right, we got this, girls. We are strong. Just doing 15 of these, all right? So it'll go by super fast before you know it. So go. Up into a V, back down. Oh my god. This is eight. Oh, I need a break. Wow, my abs are on fire. All right, let me just stretch it out and keep going. All right, ready? Let's go. Let's go, 11. Almost there. Oh, oh my God. Just three more. 13, 14, and 15. That burns. All right, now we've got our last exercise. It's the last one, so make sure you really finish strong, give it your all. We've got some plank twists. So these are nice and simple. You're gonna go ahead and get on your elbows, plank position. You're gonna twist your hips to one side and switch. So we're doing 30 in total. So go one side to the other. Make sure to keep your back straight. Halfway through. 10 more, keep going. And 30. Oh my god. Oh, how do these girls look? Oh yeah. See these obliques popping? They're there. Hello. All right, so that was today's 11 ab workout. If you'd like to really get a full workout of it, I would suggest repeating this two more times so you can really, really like drill it home so you can do it just three times in a row as a circuit. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.